We can easily say that baking soda is probably the most inexpensive health remedy in the world. Do you agree? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Baking sods is effective at fighting and preventing everything from colds to cancer, as well as beneficial for oral health, deodorants, and so much more. Health benefits of baking soda include reduced risk and prevention of diarrhea, metabolic acidosis, acidity, peptic ulcer, etc. It has anti-itch or antipruritic properties which help in maintaining healthy skin. In this video we are going to talk about 8 beauty uses of baking soda, that you haven't heard before. 1. Face peeling. Yes you got that right, you can use baking soda as face peeling. Here's what you need to do, just make a paste of 3 fourths of baking soda and 1 fourth of water. You can use this paste to eliminate and remove dead cells from the surface of your face, without worrying that your face will scrape, because baking soda is gentle. 2. Deodorant. You'll be amazed when we tell you that baking soda is the best natural alternative, because the commercial deodorants are loaded with harmful chemicals. How to use it? Just mix baking soda with a few drops of essential oil and apply it on the affected area. It will help you eliminate the unpleasant odor. 3. Shampoo. Note, you can use this baking soda shampoo from time to time. It will help you remove any accumulated hair product debris and will make your hair mild, soft, and beautiful. It's very simple, just put a shampoo in your hand and add a teaspoon of baking soda and apply on the hair. 4. Shampoo for dry hair. It's very simple, you should use it as baby powder. Just apply a bit on the hair roots, leave it on for 5 minutes in order to absorb the particles that make it look oily, and then give your scalp a good massage. Next step is to comb your hair. That's it and get ready to be amazed by the results. 5. Toothpaste. How to make the best homemade toothpaste? Just mix baking soda with 3% hydrogen in ratio, so that you get a thick paste. This mixture will whiten your teeth, and baking soda itself has similar properties. Note, don't use this mixture too often because it can damage your enamel. 6. Body peeling. You can also use baking soda as body peeling as well. Here's what you need to do, just take one empty bottle or pack of body care product. Fill the bottle or the pack halfway with baking soda and add 25 drops of essential oil, then add water to fill the container. 7. Pedicure. How to make your own pedicure relaxing treatment, just put your feet in a hot water and add 2 to 3 teaspoons of baking soda. Note, you can add some essential oil, because it has relaxing properties. You should soak your feet for 15 to 20 minutes. 8. Coating for soothing burns. Here's what you need to do, just mix 2 teaspoons of baking soda in 1 liter water. That's it. How to use it, just soak clean soft cloth and apply it on the critical area. Replace the cloth after becomes dry and warm. Thank you for watching and don't forget to share. Just mix baking soda and honey consume 3 teaspoon a day for 30 days and this is what will happen to your body. Yes the experts say that you should definitely try this 2 ingredient combo. Just mix baking soda and honey, and consume this mixture for 30 days. Unfortunately, many people around the world thought that mixing baking soda and maple syrup or honey is a bad thing. Why? Well that's easy to answer because cancer cells thrive on sugar. But in the last 60 years, many experts around the world have examined this and they said that this is not true. Just take a look at the video and find out more about this. First of all, I would like to say that yes, you're right, cancer cells love sugar, and mixing and heating alkaline sodium bicarbonate with sugar-rich maple syrup or honey, binds the two together such that the maple syrup targets the sugar-hungry cancer cells, which consume 15x more glucose than normal cells, 
and sneakily carries the baking soda into the cells. This means that you will use the maple syrup or the honey as a Trojan horse. How this works, well, the alkalinity of the baking soda either kills the cancer microbe, or reverts it to its hibernation form, inside the cancer cell, such that the cell reverts to normal. Or it has an alkalizing effect forcing a rapid pH shift that kills the cell. The shock wave of alkalinity allows more oxygen into the cancer cells than they can tolerate. Cancer cell is reverted or eliminated before the sugar delivery can cause cancer cell growth. The secret recipe. You just need to two simple ingredients, baking soda and honey or maple syrup. It's very simple, you just have to combine one teaspoon of baking soda for every one tablespoon of maple syrup or honey. Because there are three teaspoons in one tablespoon, the ratio used is one part baking soda to three parts maple syrup or honey. For example, mix four teaspoon baking soda with four tablespoon maple syrup or honey. This should be enough for a week. When you mix these two ingredients, cook the mixture on low heat for 5 to 10 minutes. And make sure you don't put this mixture in your refrigerator. How to use it? The experts say that you should consume 1 teaspoon of this mixture 1 to 3 times per day, for a maximum 1 to 2 month. Don't take this mixture too close to meal times. During this therapy you need to change your diet. You need to decrease the meat intake, and no sugar or white flour. We really hope you find this video helpful and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Thank you and take care. Eat 12 teaspoon of baking soda daily and this happens to your kidneys. Kidneys are small but they perform vital functions that play a major role in our health. Yes and you'll be amazed when we tell you that kidneys filter about 120 to 150 quarts of blood, to produce 1 to 2 quarts of urine, filtering waste, and extra fluid out of the body. They perform many vital functions in the human body, such as, prevent the buildup of waste in the body, keep electrolyte levels stable, and make hormones that regulate blood pressure, make blood cells, and maintain strong bones. Ladies and gentlemen you should be very careful because there are many factors that can lead to kidney damage, such as, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, a disease called glomerulonephritis, which damages the kidneys filtering units, infections, kidney stones, and overuse of some over-the-counter painkillers. But don't worry because repairing the kidneys after damage just may lie in a common household item, baking soda. In this video we are going to show you how to cleanse and improve the function of your kidneys with just one half teaspoon of baking soda. How it works, the endocrine system produces hormones and enzymes to help digest food into safer chemicals that the body can process. The pancreas is usually the organ that produces the majority of sodium bicarbonate to protect the kidneys during digestion. Sometimes the kidneys will produce additional amounts, depending on the type of food you eat. This means that if your diet includes added sugar, fried foods, fatty foods, and other unhealthy choices, the endocrine system can become stressed. Both the pancreas and the kidneys will suffer a significant reduction in their ability to produce sodium bicarbonate effectively. Without sufficient production of bicarbonate, the acids produced during digestion cannot be effectively neutralized, causing kidney damage. You should also know that sodium bicarbonate is one of the most important agents used in dialysis or other treatments for kidney damage. A process known as acid buffering aids in the removal of excess fluids and waste material from the bloodstream. Dialysis helps to add sodium bicarbonate to the body, because the kidneys are no longer able to produce it in order to process food and waste materials. Note but when the body is able to produce normal amounts of bicarbonate on its own, the life of the kidneys is extended, and the endocrine system can remain healthy. Study confirms, a recent study conducted by group of researchers at the US National Health Institute, has showed the effectiveness of sodium bicarbonate dialysis in the place of normal dialysis. Here's what you need to know, the participants in this study showed greater nitrate oxide synthase, which is a process that balances the pH level of the blood. 
Another study, conducted by the famous Dr. Ioni de Brito Ashurst and his colleagues from the Department of Renal Medicine and Transplantation, has found that daily sodium bicarbonate intake slows the progress of chronic kidney disease and prevents patients from having to undergo kidney dialysis. This allowed researchers to conclude that sodium bicarbonate can prevent, and in some cases, even reverse the onset of chronic kidney failure, and stop related diseases such as heart disease and end-stage renal disease. This is very important for you to remember, make sure you consult with your doctor or you should talk to a healthcare professional before starting any type of treatment. First day, you need to dissolve one half teaspoon baking soda under the tongue. Second day, you need to mix one half teaspoon of baking soda with one half teaspoon of salt into 1.5 liters of water, and drink each day for two to three days. After the second day, you need to reduce your daily dosage to one fourth teaspoon of baking soda and one third teaspoon of salt. And one last thing, as we said kidney damage can be caused by living an unhealthy lifestyle, so the best way to protect your kidneys